Here we have three mixers, all of them based on the MDB44H mixer from many circuits designed to cover frequencies from 10 to 40 gigahertz. And the point is, can we have a reasonable performance in a homemade unit? This first one here was presented in detail in videos 29 and 30 and has more than just a mixer inside. It includes, includes a post attenuator, a low pass filter and a couple of amplifiers. The fact is that the measured results were worse than I expected and can be seen here. Notice that the response of the whole thing is minus 22.1 plus minus 17.7 dBm and that's too much. Then I build this other one here with just the mixer inside and here we have the result. It's much better. Flatness is minus 17 plus minus 7 dBm. But we can see here a severe dip probably due to the discontinuities on the PCB connections. But anyway, it can certainly be used compensating correctly the losses. Finally, we have here a professional unit, the ZMDB44HK and as we can see here, the flatness is minus 11.6 plus minus 2.9 dBm. This unit was bought so we can compare the differences between a homemade unit and a professional unit and also to be used as a front end for my spectral analyzer expanding the range to 30 gigahertz as we can see in a while. And this is the setup used to measure the performance of the ZMDB44H uh, mixer from mini circuits. This is a spectral analyzer, microwave generator. This is the local oscillator. These two units here are 10 dB amplifiers to bring the level to plus 15 dBm as this is a level 15 mixer and the local oscillator frequency is 15 gigahertz. For this test I am using this setup basically the same arrangement used before to measure the mixer itself but now I connected a synthesizer Program it to output 9 gigahertz to the RF, RF port through a 10 dB attenuator. The intention is to measure the second and third harmonic levels, respectively 18 gigahertz and 27 gigahertz. The local oscillator frequency is the same as before, 15 gigahertz. The spectral analyzer was set to 3 GHz corresponding to the second harmonic 
which is 18 gigahertz and the level is about minus 42 TBM now the third harmonic 12 gigahertz let me pick the marker minus about minus 49 dBm this measurement here corresponds to the third harmonic or 27 gigahertz I measured the synthesizer performance before and I know that the output level at 9 gigahertz is 1.6 dBm let me show the results here of the notice that I have measured the output level using two methods with the spectral analyzer and also using a power meter and the results are a bit different as the power meter is a broadband device and I had to use the spectral analyzer result as I am interested in the fundamental only here we can see 9 gigahertz 1.6 dBm here I show the losses to be compensated from the DUT to the spectral analyzer the attenuator, the connector 1, connector 2, the connector 3, connector 3, the The cable ULC to FT from many circuits and the conversion loss of the mixer. The total loss in this path is 20.7 dB for the second harmonic and translates to 3 gigahertz in the spectral analyzer and 24.3 dB for 27 gigahertz the third harmonic translated to 12 gigahertz in the spectral analyzer so here is the final result the dBm measured minus 42 for the second harmonic and minus 49 for the third harmonic correcting the level using this result here we have minus 21.3 dBm and minus 24.7 dBm respectively or minus 22.9 dBc and minus 26.3 DBC for the third harmonic and to test the accuracy of the results obtained with the mixer as the front end of the spectral analyzer I connected the device under test directly to the instrument and measured the second harmonic of the synthesizer 18 gigahertz which happens to be the very end of the spectral analyzer range as we can see here the reference is the same of the synthesizer preamplifier is on and the 10 dB attenuator is compensated as we can see here preamplifier on external attenuator of 10 dB compensated here and uh, 
here we can see that we are using the external reference. And the measured level is minus 21.6 dBm, which is only point three dBm different from the result obtained with the mixer. That's all I had. Thanks for watching.